Well, history has shown that ever so often an artist arrives on the scene and completely turns the game on its head. Such is, of course, the case with our second music guest, who in 2012 was hailed as the new face of Afrofolk, with some going to the extent of even comparing him to the legendary Vusi Matasela. We fell in love with his debut album, Umlilo, and after years of begging for more, Bongezio Mabandla has answered the growing calls with an offering titled Mangali. So, while he'll tell us all about it right now as he joins us on the White Couch. Welcome back to Morning Live. Uh, thanks for having me. It's always great to be here. Yeah. Now, 2012 Umlilo came out. Yeah. Take us back to how you were received as an artist. Yeah, you know, that album, it opened a lot of doors for me. Uh, I've always wanted to become a musician, like, ever since I was a, a very young boy growing up in the Eastern Cape. I, I always loved music in a very deep way, and I always used to dream about uh, going into the music industry. So, yeah, 20, um, Lilo opened a lot of doors. I was nominated for two summers for the album, and what it did most, it really allowed me to see the world. I've been touring for the past five years, seeing a lot of countries, seeing many different cultures and um, yeah that's been wonderful all right your latest offering tell us all about it uh, you know how did you choose the tracks to be in the album who you've worked with yeah. and where you've been performing yeah you know this album has been a labor of love we worked very hard in the studio uh, especially being absent for five years in the music industry yeah I worked with Spook Matambo uh, on one of the track is the only feature and I work with Kyla Rose Smith who used to be with Fresh Ground on some violin on some tracks yeah it's been an incredible time I'm really excited that the album is here and yeah I'm I'm happy to be back yeah. what has been Ismangali so in your life and De in your journey sure definitely that's what the the title I'm glad you get it because um yeah I felt like becoming a musician, seeing the world, seeing all these different cultures and experiencing that culture between um, the listener and the artist has been amazing and uh, that's how the title of the song came. I've, and it's also very much about the concept that life can be miraculous, life can be meaningful and yeah that's how the song came, came together in the title. Now the music business is often said to be such a tough and grueling industry, how yeah. have you found it? I mean, I find the music industry very tough. Um, it is tough. There's a lot of, of, of work that goes into becoming a singer. I think a lot of people, it's one of those career people think like it's kind of fun career and you just always dancing and having fun. But there's some really serious parts about music. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of challenges. I think there's a, so many musicians that don't get the right opportunities. Um, yeah. And how would you say you've grown and matured, both as a musician and as a man, since uh, yeah. your, your debut offering? Yeah, definitely. I think that's what I really wanted to put in the album. I've definitely, uh, I'm a little bit more mature. Uh, I'm, a a lot, I'm a lot more sympathetic to and compassionate to other people and respectful to other people. I think as you grow old, you start to realize, you know, the, the oneness that you have with other people. And that's the kind of thing that I wanted to have in the album to uh, inspire all people and be very inclusive of all people, yeah. All right, we definitely are inspired both by his story and his uh, fascinating talent. Uh, that is, uh, of course, uh, our second music guest, Bongeziwe Mabanda. He's uh, back with a second album. Of course, his debut album was titled Umlilo.